I'm going to show you how to use one of the calculators that I think you'll find quite useful. It's the concrete volume calculator. And for those of you that are mixing your own cement or you want to do a materialist, really helpful way of, of, uh, of doing this using this calculator. One of the most common, you can select whether you're using rectangular footings, cylindrical footings, or sauna tubes. Uh, these two bases, which are, you know, like the Bigfoot or the other types of uh, formed bases, bell-shaped bases. These are great to help uh, prevent uh, uplift if you're if you're using a, a foundation system that's really sunk deep into the ground. Um, here I'm going to use a uh, I'm going to I'm going to go with the sauna tube. I've got let's say I've got uh, let's say we're just I'll just give an example with just one sauna tube. So let's say that this sauna tube is a uh, one foot diameter or 12 inches. You could put 12 inches in there if you'd like. And let's say it's uh, four feet high. You simply calculate, press calculate, and it tells you that you're going to use 3.14 cubic feet of cement. Uh, that's 0.12 cubic yards. Here's what you're going to need in terms of either 60 pound bags or 80 pound bags, seven bags, or just over five bags. You can just reset that if you want. Um, but in a real common situation, let's say you have six. Uh, footings, six piers with, with footings that you're going to use. What you would do is go required quantity, quantity, and you'd put six in there and you'd select, uh, a sauna tube because we're going to also use this with the tube base. If it was not using any footing and it was just a cylindrical footing, we would just press this and then we would go right to, uh, calculate. But let's, let's go with a sauna tube here and let's, Let's input six of them. The diameter is going to be uh, one foot. The height is going to be four feet. Let's say you're in an area where you've got some frost over the winter time. We're going to press calculate. So we know that we're going to need 18.85 uh, cubic feet of, of cement to fill up the sauna tube. But that's not the end of the story here. We're now going to press add. And we're going to go over to the tube base. Now, there are a lot of tube bases in the market. This particular one is um, the Bigfoot system. There are other knockoffs available. They all basically do the same thing. But I've got the Bigfoot in there because I think it's, you know, pretty much uh, the gold standard. And we'll put six of those in. And then we'll select from among the various diameter bases that are available, a 20-inch base, 24-inch base, 29 and a half and 36. Let's go with 24. And now we'll press calculate. And what this is going to do is add the volume of cement that's required to fill each of these six, uh, um, you know, two bases and add it to the numbers we already have. So we'll press calculate. And there we go. You're going to have, you're going to need 33 or almost 34 cubic feet of cement. You're going to need, <laughs> Quite a few bags of cement, as you can see here, 75, 60 pound bags. Uh, that's a lot of mixing. You're going to be there for a while. You're probably going to want to have a, one of those portable mixers on site. Uh, but that's what it would require. And then you can just reset that anytime you want. And if you want to use a rectangular footing, you can do that too. For example, let's, let's uh, assume you're going to take the time to build a rectangular footing and you just put in the, the size here. Let's go, uh, uh, 24, excuse me, let's, let's, oops, this field accepts numbers only, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, let's put zero in there, and let's go to inches. 24 inches by 24 inches, and let's say it's 8 inches thick. Okay, uh, and calculate. So there you, there you go, you'd need six bags of 60 pound uh, concrete, or cement mix, and again, if you wanted to add, you could add, uh, if it was a cylindrical footing on top of that, you could select either the cylindrical footing input or the sauna tube. And one is, is the quantity we're going to do. Uh, the diameter would be one foot if you want that, and the height would be whatever you want, three feet in this case. And you've already pressed add, so it's going to add it to these numbers. And let's just press calculate. And there you go gives you an idea really quickly of the amount of concrete uh, cement mix you're going to need. So this is a, this is a really useful uh, calculator for, for volume, concrete volume, and I hope that uh, 
you find it useful.